carrying. Trauma Television fans, here we go again with another exciting title bout. Defending Ancient City Champion at 135 pounds in the yellow and black shorts, Justin Curlin from Daytona, Florida, coming uh, in here to defend his title against Christian Erkland. Uh, Big Scary, why don't you tell us a little bit about Erkland? Well, uh, he fights out of the Combat Club. Uh, he's a, a wrestler. Um, so he's been pretty tough when I've seen him a couple times. This should be a pretty good fight. Yeah, you know, at this weight, there's not always a lot of options. The guys with a uh, two levels, look at this. And uh, sooner or later, they Ooh, beat up. Oh, like, oh, my wow, goodness. the champ is in trouble. Would you look at that? His arm got hung in the way down, it looks like. I don't think that that was the cause of him taking the strikes. But, uh, yeah, he got hung up there. Well, wow, that's a, I wouldn't expect to see those hands from well, Berkeley. Like I was just saying, I mean, sooner or later, these, these guys, I mean, going to flash the higher level guys especially in these lower weights because there's not so many of them out there you know one thing about curling uh looks like it turned him on a little bit i mean he's he's coming forward looks like it woke him up more than anything you know he's uh still still in the fight yeah so a lot yeah. more than we've seen out of a lot of people that would have taken those shots oh yeah no those were brutal shots Erkland's on the offensive he's going after him he smells blood in the water yeah, yeah, he's with an, an aggressive yet cautious approach too because he does know that Curlin's got some ground ability as well. I mean, uh, you know, Curlin comes in here, a guy that's fought literally all over the world. He's fought in Italy, he's fought in Mexico, Spain, he's been to Peru, you know, in uh, Muay Thai. And, uh, you know, he, he doesn't have as much ring experience in uh, MMA, but even before that, I do remember for years he came and he, and he competed on our grappling events before the amateur MMA was even legal. You know, if you remember back, Trauma Television seen him before. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's got a pretty extensive background. Uh, this is, but so far this fight's been completely stand up. Yeah, I believe Erkland's moved here from the Midwest and uh, had some wrestling experience out there in high school, and now uh, is currently training with John Malo or St. Augustine Combat Club. Uh, and that's about all we know about him, other than uh, he came in, he fought Rock Merkel a while back, and uh, he took Rock Merkel out pretty quick and easy. I think that fight's on YouTube, but. Um, you know, it, uh, other than that, I know he's had fights in a couple other promotions, and I think he actually won a title in another promotion since then. And, uh, you know, this is a match that we were waiting to uh, try to get together. It looks like they both really slowed down a little bit and just uh, kind of, kind of pinpoint each other. Yeah, yeah, after all of that uh, initial initial craziness at the beginning. Not and, a lot happened since yeah. then. You know, not a lot happened. It really... You know, I've seen Curlin in some of his Muay Thai fights in the past does have a problem starting slow, you know. Well, uh, that's the end of the round, so we'll see if he picks it up in the second round. He, he turned it on toward the end, though. I mean, other than the knockdown, he was pretty close to in the round, but you, you got to give that round to, to Erklins for the yeah, knockdown. Yeah, right? I would say so. I mean, just because nothing... Uh, you know, nothing to 
catastrophic really happened either way since then. So absolutely, you know, he got the stand an eight count. He was in trouble. There's no question. You know. And uh, hopefully now Curlin knows that uh, you know that the champ's behind a little bit. Oh, look at that vicious body shot. And he got a reaction out of it. You know, now Urkel decides to use some of his wrestling. I think this is the first time we've really seen him attempt any kind of real uh, takedown. And I don't know if that was completely a takedown or if he just wanted to neutralize it so he couldn't get hit again. You know? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But uh, Curlin was able to, to spin him around in the corner. Yeah, well, Curlin's comfortable in situations like this, not only from his grappling, but because of all the Muay Thai experience. Yeah, it was, uh, that might have been a little low. Time to recover. The battle continues. It can take up to five minutes. Yeah, don't tell him that. Though. I don't want to see him. <laughs> uh, he's a gamer. He's ready to go. Now, if uh, Pearl is smart, he'll jump on him right now. Because, you know, he is hurt. Yeah, and that seems like he's got that idea. A little bit. It's nice he's switching it up. He keeps going for some body shots. You don't see that enough in MMA. No, no, especially not at the amateur level. I mean, that was what he hurt him with. I mean, that, that was probably, uh, up to this point, I would say, this fight, the only thing that I've seen that's really happened here so far, other than just some score, you know? Yeah. Uh, takedown. Yeah. Get back to uh, our first time square, no doubt. Yeah, first takedown of the fight. The number one judging criteria, you know, is we, we constantly need to remind ourselves, our officials, our athletes, coaches, viewers, everybody is effectiveness or AKA damage, you know, I and mean, nothing beats that. And that's, that's what the, what the, what the judging criteria is based on. You know, when that doesn't occur, we go to positions of control, ring general ownership, you know, submission attempts, carry weight. Takedowns carry more weight than they probably should sometime, and I think that uh, over the course of the next few years of MMA and the evolution of the sport, we're going to see where the takedowns are not going to factor in quite as much in uh, MMA scoring and judging as they do now. Right, right. I mean, the takedowns need to include effectiveness in, in action once the, the fight hits the mat. I mean, just the so-called laying and praying. Uh, that shouldn't really win round. Well, and it, but you know what? It does, and because it does, you've got guys that train like that. You've got coaches that train their athletes like that. It's a smart way to, you know, in some cases, secure the victory. I mean, for the normal people, he's scary. Guys like you and I, I, mean, I know you want to knock somebody's teeth out. Yeah, that's the goal. That is always the goal. That's curling gets it. Yes, this has been a pretty close round. This has been a pretty close out. round. Judges have some work in here. Look at this corner man, John Mayler. Really dressed to impress. I mean, these guys at the combat club go all out. Go all out. I mean, this is, this is, this is oh, took a leg kick there. A huge event. They're trying to oh, be yeah. on their best. Oh, yeah, well, they are. That's the city championship on the line. I mean, you know, Earthlands. Even though he's not from here, he lives in St. Augustine. Oh, look at that. I scored on Curlin a little bit with that hook. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, man. Trying to turn fire. This is, a, this is a war. They they know this fight is on the line. Well, it could possibly be 1-1 one, one right now. Yeah, this... You, know, you never know what the judge is. You never know. This is this fight is close right here for the so title. get the underhook on that left side. Oh, yeah. That's not Curlin does not want to give up his title. No. No. You know, if he engaged the five of first couple seconds, it's questionable whether or not he's going to get much past the first round. Look, he's looking a little tired. He's kind of swinging in desperation, but it's pretty wide open. Yeah, no. Uh, Curlin has definitely shown the heart of a warrior. Oh, yeah, and, no, yeah that, that he deserved his title and that he wants to keep his title. Yeah, no, there was never a question about Curlin's heart. Known in seeding fight. You know, had him on the event, seen him fight on the other events. No question about his heart. Rapping the round on the tires, man. I mean, clearly. 
the entire. They were extended a lot of trivia after. And of course, like everybody, I'm sure they're both pretty tangy. They were already prepared. Nobody could ever go into a fight. Oh, goodness. Uh, ship in the back. Yes. You never go into a fight and feel like you've done enough to prepare. You know, there's always an order to it. Oh. And if I do a call out of submission, I don't know if I can more just kind of reaching for a headlock. Yeah, he's just trying to hold on at this point. Perlin needs to give himself some space so he can so he can let loose. I don't I don't know why he seems to be initiating grappling himself too. It seems like he would want to be able to to give himself some space. For at least his attempt at this submission, I don't think he's going to catch Curl. No, but he could. He's not able to catch. Yeah, no, he's out. He's out. I wonder if Curl will bring it back to the feet. He's going to stand around. Yeah, oh. Oh, oh guillotine. Close to him. Close fight. All around. Oh. Definitely, everything is He's got it tight. Oh, in the end of the round. Saturday on Comcast Channel 99, and you can find us on Facebook too.